Hey guys, it's Chico and Jerry. We are at Dollar Tree. She's excited. I am. Um, we're going to do a Dollar Tree haul. Um, for several reasons. There are some items that we can buy here cheaper than anywhere else that we're going to use mm -hmm. for upcoming videos. And we'll tell you all about that when we're done. Um, but we've found out that you can't video inside of Dollar Tree. So we're at Dollar Tree in Bedford, Indiana. Um, we're going to go in. We're going to make her happy, and we're going to show you what we got. We'll be back. Hi, guys. So, um, we wanted to share with you our Dollar Tree haul today, which I'm pretty excited about. They had some new items that we hadn't seen, or I hadn't seen, um, before. You want to start with what you got? Yeah, and I'll start with this. I haven't opened it yet, so I, I'm not sure about the contents. I probably should have done that. But... It says a checker game, checkers games. All right, um, I'm sure it's cheap. I'm sure the board is probably paper. Um, but the reason I bought this, um, it's not so that me and her can play checkers. Although I got the idea when we were traveling recently, we stopped at a Cracker Barrel for dinner, and they had the chess or the checkerboard set I up. I whooped him. No, she didn't. She's lying. Whooped him. So we played checkers, and, and my mind started clicking. I mentor a couple of young men, and one of the young men, they're at different levels. One of the young men is doing very well. His grades are still a concern, but they're not urgent. So we're talking about a lot of other things, concepts and theories and, and keys to success kind of stuff. So we're going to play checkers while we talk about these things. Um, and I'm going to have him trying to think of two different things at, at, at the same time. And also the checkers, I want him to think of his, start thinking of his next move and the move after that, thinking ahead. I know it's a small thing, but I think it's going to help um, in big ways. And I bought a checker game for a buck. Sure. Okay, so... Um one of the things I bought today was a pair of glass sunglasses. I'm horrible with um, knowing where my stuff is. You messed my wonderful husband here. So I just buy the Dollar Tree sunglasses because I'm going to end up losing them or the kids are going to wear them and break them. So, um, but I found a couple of pair that I liked and that were different than what I've seen before. So I picked up some sunglasses. Um, yeah, he wouldn't let me tear the tag off of them and wear them home. Brad. What do you think? Leave us a comment in the comment yeah. section below. Do you like these glasses? Um, what do you think? Worth a dollar. Yeah, it's they're worth a, worth a buck. Okay. And by the way, if you like what we're doing, please give us a thumbs up. Please smash the uh, subscription button and ring that little bell so you never miss anything that we're doing. Um, and the more comments, the better. Uh, the more, the merrier. So let me do these. These are... Recently, we won a giveaway with um, the passionate gardener, Marina, uh, Marina Velasquez. Great woman. And she sent us all these gifts. And, and we have a video. You should look it up. Um, one of the gifts was one of these little... It wasn't one of these. It was a better one than these. Um, it's these little expandable pocket file folders with little tabs. The little tabs um, and as we move into a back into a more frugal centered existence and we get back on our budgeting I decided that we're going to use that for she sent it to us because she knows we're couponers I started saying cucumbers again she knows we're couponers it's almost spring time to plant cucumbers yeah. um, but I thought it was so very cool we're going to use one for uh, coupons. We're going to use one for our budgeting, the Dave Ramsey system, but we're going to use one of these. And I know I have a use for the third one, um, but I'm just not sure what it is yet. It'll come but to we're, we're going to be able to put, uh, we have an auto replacement fund. We have um, utility bills. We have savings. We have vacation fund. Yada, yada. shoe fund. Yeah. So, 
that's what we're going to use these for. And for example, big purchases like car replacement, we will save it in there until it gets a thousand dollars. And when it gets a thousand dollars, we'll put it in a real envelope, seal it, and put it in our safe deposit box. Um, so it's not like we're ever going to have wads of cash. Um, and we'll do the same with vacation and savings. And then utilities, of course, it'll be depleted once a month. So we think these are going to be quite handy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, this was one of the new items that I saw at Dollar Tree that I hadn't seen before. This is a, it's just a sponge applicator for your makeup. And I've, yeah, he doesn't care. But I've looked at these at Walmart um, and Target, other places like that. These are generally run between four and six dollars a piece. Cause I, and I know that because I looked for our granddaughters for Christmas and decided I wasn't going to pay four bucks a piece for them. So they have these now there for a dollar, and um, they have quite a few makeup items. I mean, if you are like me and you want that new um, nail polish once a month or something like that, nail files, it's a great place to get all those items. <laughs> I thought we should just go down to the local clown college and buy the clown noses, because they're sponge too. Mm -hmm. just, just kidding. Um, I am diabetic. And I don't know if I've directly let you know that before. I, I, I allude that I have some health issues. Well, one of them is I'm a diabetic. And I've seen this today. I've never seen it before. Diabetics foot cream. Um, skin protect. It relieves dry, cracked skin, soothes skin discomfort, fragrance free. I don't know anything about this, but we're going to give it a shot. For a buck, for four and a half ounces, for, for foot cream, if it's any good at all, it was a great buy. Um, when I first was diagnosed with uh, diabetes, one of the things that it talked about, or, or in, in the research I was doing, um, it said to use antibacterial soap on my feet, which I do most of the time, um, and it said to use lotion. I've always used a lot of lotion, but I really never focused much on my feet. It was mostly my face and my hands, and um, but since I was diagnosed, I've started using uh, lotion on my feet and it's made a huge difference. So, if this is any good at all, this was a fantastic buy. Okay, so another item that was new at Dollar Tree, can you tell I'm excited, um, is this rope. It just says decorative nautical rope. It's 13 feet. For all you crafty people out there, you realize what a blessing this is. I am so excited. I'm going to... Um, figure out what to do with this and I'm going to use it in crafts and I almost bought more than one but I may go back and get another one in a couple weeks um, so I will hopefully you'll see videos of what we're going to do with this in the near future there's a lot of uses for those I've seen different stuff that she looks up on Pinterest like I've seen them as borders on books yeah. and all kinds of cool stuff this is just your everyday mundane item um, but it's a little better deal than I can get elsewhere um, they're usually a hundred bags uh, at your average store, your Walmarts and your Kroger stores and like that. They're usually a um, hundred bags for 96, 98 cents. Um, but we got 150 bags for a buck even. So I thought that was a good thing. They usually last us a long time. She takes a sandwich in her lunch part of the time. We don't use them for a lot, so these will last us for months. Mm -hmm. But I think 150 for a buck is a pretty good buy. Okay, so the next one, I believe this truly is a good buy. This is Pedia Care um, Fast Acting Fever Reducer Pain Reliever for infants two to three. And as you know, um, our grandson is that age. And we were able, before today, we were able to get the um, same thing, but in ages six to 11. Well, that's too, it's too much for the little ones. So for a dollar, it's, very, com and it tells, compared to, I don't see it here, but anyways, it's compared to your to name, brand. name brands, and it works, we've, we've used stuff like this before, the generic brand, normally we get it at a Dollar General or something, um, and we still pay three or four dollars, so for this, it has 2.5 fluid ounces, so this is a great buy something that you can stock up on because you know you're going to need it. The, the Triminic and the, the, uh, those brands around here are six or seven bucks. Mm. Um, this, Dermacil. 
Now, before we started couponing, Dermasil was pretty much the only lotion I used. It's top quality. It's great consistency. It has a good shelf life. It doesn't like get watered down or curdled or anything. It's it's great stuff. But in couponing, we're able to beat that price a lot. But but we're a little shy on lotion right at the moment. Not compared to most houses probably. But they have the aloe, um, and I've never used it before. We've I've always just used the plain Dermacil. So um, for a, a buck for 10 ounces of great lotion with aloe, I thought it was worth a shot. Um, and I'll let you know down the road how it worked out, but I think that was a great buy also. Okay, so spring, they claim spring is here, but we keep getting snow. But anyways, today uh, it was warm enough that I was able to pull out a pair of little flats. And as I was walking through stores today, before we arrived at Dollar Tree, I realized that my feet hurt because there's um, there's just no cushion. So I bought some um, insoles, dollar piece. They actually had four different kinds, two for men, two for women. They had the gel, they had the cotton. Um, so I think it's a good deal. We'll see how it works and I'll let you know. And this, Clara and Danver, I've never traditionally been a liquid hand soap guy. Um, I like the bars. And, and as we, much as we've traveled since we've been married the last nine, or nine years or so, um, I, I keep the ones from the hotels and motels. And that's, I put them at, at every sink in the house. And that, traditionally that's what I use. This is what they use in the restroom at Dollar Tree. So I, I've used it a time or two and I thought that's some pretty good stuff. And Luann over at Savvy Coupon Shopper, um, I watched one of her Dollar Tree hauls and she bought one of these and she raved about how good it was. I think she bought the apple scent, but I bought the antibacterial today. And here's the deal, here's why I bought it. Um, I tend to the chickens a lot. Quick question, when I'm feeding the chickens and gathering eggs and scooping their compost, does that make me a chicken tender? Just a question. But I'm so sorry. <laughs> but, but because I deal with the chickens so often, I want a quick antibacterial soap to wash my hands with. I know m most people can deal with the chickens and never get sick. Um, but I know people that deal with chickens and do get sick. I just want to be proactive and avoid that. So I bought this antibacterial soap and I'll use it every time I deal with the chickens. I think a buck, great buy. Okay, so last but not least. You do that one. Okay, so I got this. I love this. This is the color of the comforter in the grandbaby's bedroom, which is why I got this color. I know he didn't have a clue. Um, but that's the reason I picked this color. But they have a huge variety of totes and cubbies that you can use. And when I worked in the school, a lot of the school teachers used the cubbies and the little boxes for crayons and just um, everyday ordinary items. That Organizational. You have to have. Yeah, in the school. But we are going to use this in the kids' bedroom for shoes um, because it doesn't matter where they go. They end up on the floor because our granddaughter wants to pull out every... No, it's both kids. Okay. The grandson, too. They're, they are shoe genetically fanatics. shoe freaks. They're, they are. It's genetics. So they have to pull out every shoe every time they're here, and they have to go through every shoe. So this is... They try them on, too. Oh, yeah. So now we've got two totes that we're going to use, one for him and one for her. But I thought this was a great deal, a dollar, and we were able, instead of getting a bag, I hate bringing those bags home. We have too many bags to deal with as it is. So we just threw everything in here. And this would make a great Easter bag, Easter Easter basket, or a birthday basket, or any type of basket like that. Christmas. You could decorate it, you know, um, baby shower, whatever. This would be fantastic. And since it's going to have shoes in it, the holes will be nice. It'll let them air out. And then she picked this out, but I thought it was way cool um, it's just a metal bucket it says flowers and garden um, 
This at any other store would run you five, six, eight bucks. At Joanne Fabrics, this would yeah. be ten ninety nine. Um, and they actually had three different varieties. Like they had some oval ones. They had they had some with French on it. Yeah. So I thought it was pretty cool. We're gonna. But for a buck, I think this is a f fantastic buy. Seriously, anywhere else, any other store, I think the cheapest you could buy this anywhere would be four ninety nine. So not sure what we're gonna do with it yet. But it was cool. Do you got anything else to add? Nope. We had a great day. We did. Um, we Sunshine met our her parents for lunch um, while we were shopping and celebrated their a uh, wedding anniversary. So it was a, it was a cool day. Yeah. That's it, it guys. We want to share our first ever Dollar Tree haul with you. If you like these, let us know in the comment section below. Um, we'll be happy to do more. Um, Tell us what you think. Yeah. Godspeed. Bye, guys.